Welcome back to Goodnight Greenwich for our final installment from Always Wear Clean Underwear. The little lesson today is called Tie Your Shoes. There are two things, two ways to finish something. You can really finish it or you can sort of finish it. You know how it is. If you're getting dressed and you have a shoelace or two untied and your shirt is not tucked in and your hair is not combed, you're only sort of dressed. You are really dressed only when you are tied and tucked and combed and buttoned and zipped and brushed. You can sort of clean your room, which happens when you scrape away the top layer of toys and games and dirty socks. Or you can really clean your room, which happens when the bed is made, your desk is clean, and you can see most of the floor. You can sort of set the table by throwing silverware and plates and glasses on the table. Or you can really set the table by putting the knife on the right side and the fork and spoon on the left. Or does the spoon go on the right? And by neatly folding each napkin so it looks like a swan. Ah, oh, that's probably a little too much. The point is that you can do anything two ways, sort of and really. When your folks nag you to tie your shoes, they're doing it to keep you from tripping over your laces, falling down, and breaking your face. But they're also trying to teach you this. You should finish what you start. They want you to learn how to live really and not just sort of. They want you to learn that when you do a job, you should do it the best way you can, not the fastest way you can. Living really is much harder than living sort of, but it's so much better. And one way you learn that is by tying your shoes. Look around at the people who are really good at what they do. All of them are great shoe tires. All of them have learned how to really finish what they start. These people don't do better than other people because they are better than other people. They do better because they work hard. They do better because they never fool themselves into thinking that something is done before it's really done. They're never satisfied with sort of. They're always looking for the really. They're the people everybody goes to when they want something to get really done. When your folks talk to you about tying your shoes, it's because they want you to be one of those people. It's not that they care so much about tripping, it's that they care a lot about you tripping up in life. So tie your shoes, put the spoon to the right of the knife, and finish what you start. You'll be just fine, really. <laughs>